April 26th. You know your teams, you know your missions. No mistakes. No do-overs. Look out for each other. This is the fight of our lives. He's pretty good at that, right? Avengers Endgame. Rated PG-13. Tickets on sale now. What is popping YouTube? What's you here with a video on Avengers 4, aka Avengers Endgame. So we are in the Endgame, just like Doctor Strange said at the end of Infinity War. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the content. So we are giving away three tickets to see Endgame, which is pretty cool. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. And also, let me know down below what is going on. So, this video may trigger you. This video may uncover the whole plot for the movie. So, do not tell me that I've ruined the movie for you because I've untangled the whole movie. But then again, we could be totally wrong. So, let's get into the video. So, the reason I played the two clips I did before this video started was we are going to be talking about the white suit. What are the white suits? Are they real? Are they quantum realm suits? Are they space suits? But more importantly... What are they? So in yesterday's TV spot, we got a much greater look of all the Avengers in their pretty damn basic white suits. So we got everyone right at the end looking like they were huddling, looking like they were about to hold hands, looking like it could be a scene where they all do that to control the Infinity Stones at the end of the movie. So essentially, I think, I think there's a bogey in the house. I really think there's an elephant in the house. I really do. So I'm actually starting to think, and I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Warst you, you are crazy. You are whack. I'm starting to think these white suits are fake. They're not real. What? Yeah, I'm starting to think they are fake. Why? Because in an in a interview, Kevin Feige said, when asked a question, you, we get to see the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. Is that true? He said somewhat true. but So he didn't really confirm what the interviewer was asking him. But what is it interesting is he said Marvel is the best marketing team in the world and the way they're marketing this movie is very different to anything else they've marked. So where do these white suits appear? Well, they are first appear in toy leaks with Hasbro, etc. But toys don't mean anything anything toys can be fake they have been fake in infinity war justice league etc so just because the white suits appeared in toys did not make them real and then we see them in the first i think it was the second trailer when tony stark is rocking the white suit and then there's more i guess you say more validation that these suits are real and then we see him another one and then we see in the most recent one where it looks like rocket raccoon is also wearing one and it also looks like yes and i still think it's hulk on the left hand side in the middle i know a lot of you bros are going yo war stew that is war machine his wrist is too small well really there's no evidence i think what war machines is actually right at the bottom in the center why i think these suits are starting to be fake is there's so many reasons okay ant-man was stuck in the quantum realm in the wasp and ant-man ant-man and the wasp post credit scene he's been in the quantum realm in ant-man 1 and ant-man 2 why would he need the suit? It makes absolutely no sense. Now, me and my research partner seem to think that these suits could be misleading or they could very well, in fact, be fake. Now, I know the comment section is probably going to go balmy saying, how can these be fake? They're not going to spend so much. Well, what happens if the marketing budget is actually spending money on creating these fake suits to make everyone think that they're going to go through the quantum realm, time vortexes and all that kind of stuff with the white suits everyone's figured it out i mean even in the last shot of the movie time travel time travel confirmed because if you look right in the center it looks like an arc reactor then if you look on an official avengers 4 endgame poster that same arc reactor looking thing is also there yeah cool story yeah i guess you could say there is some evidence to whatever that is in the middle of the screen right now being real yeah i'm not saying that's not real but there's got to be more to this than the white suits because it's like, we're not showing you much. Now the white suits are so, they're everywhere that 
it's not really going to be a surprise. But then again, there could be some massive time jump where Tony Stark has created him, took him years. Obviously, it's going to build around him just like his suit did in Avengers Infinity War. Obviously, but it's like the Ant-Man thing. You can you can you can argue down below, guys. And play. In fact, please do argue down below. I personally think they are fake, or at second best, they they are very misleading because Ant-Man does not need one. Obviously, if they are Quantum Realm suit, without someone like Tony Stark nicking Hank Pym's technology, then he wouldn't even have the technology himself to build a suit in to go micro and in fact to go through the actual quantum realm so yeah this sounds absolutely ridiculous it sounds luda as in ludicrous the rapper as in it sounds ludicrous yeah i can see where you're coming from guys but even hawkeye's got one now this is where the story gets interesting so hawkeye has been away no one's seen him it looks like black widow aka natasha romarov is gonna have to go hunting down and bring him back to the avengers hq yeah cool story bro but even he's got one so i guess you could say yeah it fits around the person who is in it but essentially apart from war machine and hulk the body shape of all these characters except for hulk hulk's a lot bigger war machine's a lot bigger yeah bros i understand why you think that is actually war machine but i still think that's just it's wrong it's wrong it just is wrong so I, I think it's just wrong so apart from them two characters everyone is literally the same body shape so i'm presuming it's nanotechnology that builds around each character but if we are going under the analogy that we are only seeing somewhat 20 30 minutes then unofficially it's been confirmed from obviously all the info coming from CinemaCon and the most recent stuff saying 22 days has passed from Infinity War to Avengers Endgame. Now, could they create a bunch of new suits in 22 days? No, because Tony Stark's been in space. He's been on the Benatar. He's been stuck in space for that whole time. So are they going to time jump years ahead? Or has he been working on these white suits? Well, no, no, that doesn't even make any sense because from the end of Infinity War, he's been stuck there the whole time. Now, I do believe a lot of the footage that we actually have seen so far is fake, misleading. We get it, Russo bros to preserve the heritage to preserve the movie so you don't know what's going on because like i was t telling someone the other day like we've seen 10 minutes of footage in total now if you take 10 minutes away from like a three hour movie that's still two hours fifth so there's still a lot of new footage to see so i am really thinking these suits are fake and how come in some of these scenes in the trailers like we see war machine there we see rocket they're not wearing these kind of let's go team outfits and then all of a sudden they are wearing these let's go team outfits but these outfits could be for anything i think it would make a lot more sense if the suits are actually in order for the avengers to somehow control the infinity stones now if you do remember the scene from guardians of the galaxy volume one where peter quill essentially was half celestial i guess you could say due to ego ego the living planet he could take the power then the rest of them held his hand and essentially they kind of bossed ronan the accuser now i mean i was talking to valo studios i think it was last night uh the person that made my intro for me shout out to that dude pretty cool dude and he was suggesting that possibly that's an idea so it would make more sense if the suits aren't fake but realistically you guys they are fake if i'm wrong let me know in the comments down below i mean it could be wrong might not be wrong but essentially these suits have to be for something else i mean i don't believe the white suits allow them to go through the quantum realm because ant-man doesn't need one captain marvel sure as hell doesn't need one she can fly in space so then the other end argument is yeah there's space suits i mean if they're space suits space suits why are they white okay, okay i get it space suits are generally white but like i'm pretty sure if ant-man can literally rock into the quantum realm i'm pretty sure his ant-man suit would give him enough oxygen etc to be able to survive in outer space essentially and then again tony stark could do it anyway he did it with his other suit that he had so why would he need the white suit guys the white suit conspiracy theory tag it down below tell all your friends tell absolutely everyone what is the white suits are they fake is time travel confirmed i mean i personally was sent this a bunch of times from loads of different people the circle in the middle looks like the arc reactor that means it's how they time travel well if they are expecting to go into the quantum realm then surely they're going to need a quantum tunnel just like how obviously ant-man how janet van dyne how hank pym got in there with some variation of the quantum tunnel so i just think there's a lot of madness going around these white suits keep appearing every single day i guarantee it before i upload this video there's going to be an, another tv spot that shows these white suits again it's just a bit fishy to me that we've gone from not seeing the white suits at all to seeing the white suits 
everywhere, which it's a bit strange. We're marketing this movie very differently. Yeah, you sure? Well, you sure are, Kevin. You're actually marketing this movie so much that there's been more TV spots, more trailers for this movie than the last movie. I understand it's the end of Phase 3, end of the Infinity Saga. We've got to smash the box office. It's done five times number that Infinity War did in pre-sales. Yeah, cool. We get it. But I think the way they're marketing it is by showing you two much and also another thing that i noticed in one of my videos was a lot of people said oh science doesn't count in the mcu obviously i was going on about how it would be literally impossible for them to kind of i guess you could say track the energy source of the infinity science yeah cool so cool story bro yeah i get it they could track energy but what i'm saying is it's just not realistic unless they're going to show you how not just saying oh there's, a, there's an energy source there cool but how, how do you know it's him to so literally pinpoint exactly where it'd be to like within a, a five miles radius would be pretty hard i mean cool stories let me know guys let me know all your ideas down below would be much appreciated please don't go too hard on me i do believe these suits will be in the movie in some capacity but it's a bit odd and they all seem to have the same consistency except for war machine and obviously Hulk as we haven't seen him but I do still believe Hulk is in this trailer but like always guys let me know does this confirm time travel does this confirm the white suits are real or fake I can't really make my mind of it. but anyway guys like always please like subscribe and comment and I will catch you in another video very soon catch you later